in this video we shall know how to calculate the moment about a point so in the last class we saw that we have seen the definition of how to what is the moment and how to calculate it and also we have seen what is the varignance principle so now we shall see how to calculate the moment so later we can do the derivation of that varignance theorem so here you can see the drawing there are four points a b c and d few of the forces are acting at this rectangle this is square that is 10 kN 20 kN 15 kN 18 kN and 5 kN so in the last class i have told you about what is a positive moment what is a negative moment and what how to take calculate the zero moment so there are three types of moments which i have told one is positive moment one is negative moment another one is zero when the force passes through the point chosen then the moment will become zero so in this problem what i will do i will calculate the moment about this point a let us see how to calculate the moment about this point a so let us choose this point so about this point See here a force of 10 kN, 5 kN, 18 kN, 20 kN and 15 kN. These many are the forces which are acting about this point A. Now how to calculate the moment? So see here 10 kN. If I choose this 10 kN, its distance from this point A that is the perpendicular distance. So now question arises the force is acting here. How to calculate the perpendicular distance? So you have read about the line of action of the forces. So this is the line of action of this force of 10 kN. If I choose this, what is the perpendicular distance from here to here? It is 10. So now I have chosen this force. Let me rotate this one about this point. See? the force starts to rotate in clockwise direction because of application of force because the direction of force it starts to rotate in clockwise direction this is the arrowhead see the arrowhead that arrowhead see here the arrowhead this is the arrowhead this arrowhead starts to rotate in clockwise direction about this point so that's why it is taken as a clockwise moment. So how to calculate moment? We have had a formula in last class that is a moment is calculated So moment is calculated by force into its perpendicular distance so how to calculate the so here moment m is equal to force into perpendicular distance r we have taken so for this force this is the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance is 10 meters so first moment that is 10 into 10 and it is acting in a clockwise direction that why i will mark it as a positive now let us go for second force that is a 5 kN. so this is 5 kN. if i extend its line of action if i extend the line of action of this force what happens the line of action is acting in this direction if i extend its line of action see here it meets at this point the distance from a to about this point is 5 meters and when i choose this force see here i am choosing this force if i rotate it about this point a see the force has started to rotate in anti clockwise direction see here the force is now rotating in anti-clockwise direction see the arrowhead it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction about point A so what I can write is 
minus since it is acting in anti clockwise direction what is the force force is equal to 5 kN and distance is of 5 meters now let us go for this force this force is 18 18 kN but the you can see here if I produce its line of action what happens the line of action is coinciding this line of action is coinciding with this point a so there is no perpendicular distance from a so 18 is acting exactly at the point a therefore there is no perpendicular distance that's why the moment will become zero here so how that is either you can write plus or minus 18 kN is acting but the perpendicular distance is 0 here that's why the moment is becoming 0 similarly 15 is also acting at this point only there is no perpendicular distance if I produce its line of action the line of action is passing through the point chosen that's why the moment of this moment will also become 0 here so either you write plus or minus so 15 into 0 next last one is 20 kilonewton see this 20 kilonewton the line of action is passing through a there is no perpendicular distance between this force so that's why what is happening this force will also be zero that is 20 is the force perpendicular distance is zero so the moment about point a about the point a is equal to 10 into 10 is 100 minus 25 so 75 kilo newton meter is the moment acting about point a now let us take instead of at that point let us take force if i want to calculate the moment about this point this chosen point that is let us take the point is at a distance of 5 meters from all the points So, if I want to calculate moment about this point, let me give the name as D and it is at a distance of 5 meter from this point, 5 meter from this point, 5 meter from this point and 5 meter from this point. So, I will erase. Now let us calculate the moment about this point D because of all these forces. So here the chosen point D is 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters, 5 meters. That is it is exactly at the center of this square box. So about this point, let us start with this force only. So 10 kN. What is the perpendicular distance of this 10 kN? If I drop a perpendicular to along its line of action along the line of action of this force this is 5 meters so force is equal to 10 is the force and perpendicular distance is 5 now what is the sign convention if i fix this point and if the force starts to move in this direction so it will rotate in clockwise direction so i will to the sign convention as positive that is clockwise moment now come to this force this force is acting it's if i extend its line of action the line of action is passing through the point chosen there is no perpendicular distance so what happens that moment will become zero plus or minus i'll let us not write any sign conventions here Now let us take this 20 kN about this point D. 20 kN about this point D. So its line of action. The line of action is this one is its line of action. The force is acting along this line of action. What is the purpose? If I drop a perpendicular along this line of action, the distance is 5 meter. The perpendicular distance about this point of this force is 5 meter. See? From here to here it is 5 meter the perpendicular distance of this force is 5 meters if I choose this point 
the force will start to because of application of force if i fix about this point it starts to move and it will rotate like this so what is the direction of rotation the direction of rotation is a clockwise direction so if i choose this point about this point if i choose this force about this point so what happens here the force will rotate in clockwise direction see the force is now rotating in clockwise direction about the chosen point so that's why i am i will take it as a positive moment so plus 20 is the force phi is the perpendicular distance now let us take force 15 kN. The line of action of this 15 kN is this is the line of action of 15 kN. If I drop a perpendicular from here to here, the distance is 5 meter. Perpendicular distance of this 15 is 5 meter. See here, if I choose this force, so if I choose this force about this point how it will rotate because of application of force it starts to rotate and see here the force is rotating in clockwise direction so this is the arrowhead this arrowhead will rotate in clockwise direction so see here that's why the force plus 15 what is the perpendicular distance of 5 meter now the last force that is 18 kilonewton if i choose this 18 kilonewton its line of action is this is its line of action so see here if i choose it about this point see the arrow head this arrow head is rotating in anti-clockwise direction the direction of rotation this arrow head is rotating in anti-clockwise direction so that's why the symbol that is the moment is a negative moment about the point d so what i will write i will write minus phi into 18 the distance is 5 meters perpendicular distance and it is acting in anti-clockwise direction so this will be moment so moment about point d is equal to 10 into 5 is 50 plus 20 into 5 is 100 plus 15 into 5 is 75 minus 18 into 5 is 90 so what is the value 100 175 175 plus 50 is 225 225 minus 90 so 135 is the moment that is the value is positive that is all the because of all these forces the overall moment developed is of a clockwise direction and unit is newton meter is the unit so in this manner we will calculate the bending the calculate the moments about a point the clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment or the moment will become zero depending upon the point chosen when you have chosen point here only 10 kN and 5 kN were producing the moment when i chosen point about d all the forces are contributing to produce the moment here so depending on the point chosen the moments will become positive negative and zero how to calculate the moments a moment is calculated by producing the line of action till this point where we need line of action of the force is extended till the point where we want to calculate the moment and then 
calculating the perpendicular distance between the force and the point chosen and then checking whether the moment is clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction the sign conventions are given in this manner the bending moments are calculated about a chosen point so in the next class i will go for the derivation of that varignan's principle so using that varignan's principle further calculation of the moment and the more further calculation of the resultant of due to the parallel forces can be calculated in previous classes we have calculated the resultant of the concurrent forces here using perignan's principle we will calculate the resultant produced by the parallel forces